to the to the you know to Google to check out that particular um, place that I used to go to get the coins, and they're permanently closed. You know, which means that you know, you know, this is you know that's that's an indication that you know something is about to go down. You know, because you know the the uh, the uh, value of the money is way way down. You know, and everything is about to start to implode within within itself. We're in the second week of June, uh, July coming up next, and uh, they're saying that the second half of this year is going to be real bad. You know, so you know, get ready. You know, you know, get your mind prepared and geared for what's going down. You know, stay prayed up. You know, because it's it's about to go down. You know. And like I said, I went, I saw it the other day, but I didn't think too much of it. You know, did, thought did cross my mind. I said, oh snap, did this guy close his shop down? Because he's been there for a while. And then when I went online today just to check, sure enough, it's gone. Because the sign was gone. So I was like, okay, so he pretty much closed it down. So, you know, the, the uh, stock market is an indication of the economy and the growth and the uh, selling of different commodities different uh products you know that they sell here in babylon the great and it's not looking too good this ecclesiastes 12 and 3 in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened yeah because the forecast for the future economically is is grim all right so you heard it man all right, that was uh, Elder Pasu, a rum lob. He did a, a quick hit. You know, he got uh, went to some prophecy, you know, of some news, basically. Basically, it's prophecy, but, you know, it's news. And it's news that, you know, we have to take heed to, all right? And the prophets of the Lord have been warning you, okay? So let me start off by saying, call halal la Yahweh bahashim yahawashah. All right, which is all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles, elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War back at you again, you know, with another lesson. And uh, Lord willing, I pray this lesson be edifying. You know, I just want to uh, land back off Elder Apostle Rumlob. You know, with with uh, with this news. All right, I did see a few articles, but I wasn't able, you know, to really lock in. You know, and um, we're in these times. All right, where the Lord is gonna, you know, bring forth Jacob's trouble, man. All right, and uh, that's how, that's uh, Jeremiah 30. Matter of fact, I get that scripture real quick. Um, let's get to uh, Jeremiah. 30 and uh verse 6 it says ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child wherefore do i see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness it says verse 7 at last at at last for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it. All right, so we're gonna be approaching Jacob's trouble soon, you know? And what is Jacob's trouble? The Most High has a controversy with his people. All right, he's gonna come down hard and very cruel. And for us who have received his word, you know, it's a must that we take heed and be aware of these times, you know? A lack of food, you know, this economy being shut down. We're in, in, we're, 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 right now, we're in inflation, you know, and eventually, like Elder Apostle Aramlab said, you know, you know, these truckers, you know, all of your goods is going to be cut short. You know, it may come in the area, but you might not have enough. So these are the times to pray to the Lord for mercy, man. As the scriptures say, seek the Lord, seek, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And the Lord is near now because he have the prophets prophesizing. All right. 
week in and week out, in season, out of season, man. Teaching you this truth, fulfilling uh, the scripture, Jeremiah 315. He said, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And we know that the scriptures also say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thou times. So we need this word in order to be stable, okay? You know, Elder Apostle Sahar just this week, he, he uh, put up uh, uh, a lesson. He, he spoke, you know, hey, if you can if you can stack up, stack up, man. You know, whatever resources, things you, you, you can get your hands on, you know, because a famine will come, all right? Famine is part of the plagues. A, 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 a famine is part of the plagues that the Lord will sit. That talks about his, that's, that's his second address, all right, 16. Matter of fact, I'll go to it real quick. Well, let me finish this scripture here. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, meaning the elect. All right, the Lord's, the Lord's elect is going to be saved out of it. All right, because the Lord did choose, okay, an election to himself to be delivered. So these men... All right, and you few sisters, all right, children, whoever the elect may be, you're going to be delivered, man. You're going to be, you know, delivered from these hard times. You're going to be able to eat during the famine, you know. Scriptures prophesize that. What's that? Thinking of Job, the fifth chapter, how he said we shall laugh at death, you know. So, Isaiah 65 and 11, you know, ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget his holy mountain. The Lord said, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be vexed, you know. So the, so the word is here. All right. Um, verse eight, it says, for it shall come to pass in that day, say of the Lord, Yahweh, which is Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and I will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Now, real quick, you know, you know, we, we prophesize, you know. Uh, the word of the Lord to warn you of these times. Okay. Uh, let me get Second Edges 16. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter 16, and uh, verse 17. It says, "This is uh, Edges. He says, Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days?' All right. So even Edges was shook at the fact of what he saw." The visions that was given to him, which is of these times, you know, you see the background. This is a, a old picture, a real picture, as you know. Uh, this is, I think, this is in Africa or something like that. I had uh, snapped this picture about a year ago. You know, I forgot to delete it, and um, I believe this is when the looting, a lot of looting, was going on, and everywhere, all parts of the world, you know, in different cities and countries. You know, and I believe this one here in particular is in Africa. But you see, you know, what it looks like. You know, when there's a lack of resources, gas, food, people going to go crazy, man. All right. But this is Bible prophecy, man. These things have to come to pass in order for the kingdom to come. So it says, woe is me, woe is me who would deliver me in those days. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when the when the excuse me when these evils shall come? You know what are you gonna do when these things come? When it come to pass? You know all we can do is pray unto the Lord and hope the Lord have mercy, man. All right. That's why it was important to uh, have your. Uh, your mind set on the kingdom you know we, we say we sing these songs excuse me we sing the song which is this word and it sound like a broken record to some you know well to the most you know but for the few of the hopeful elect you know it's it's a it's a beautiful song being sung you know so it says what uh what shall i do when these evils shall come behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment so these things are happening all right to correct you see the lord is going to be cruel all right elder apostle sahar also said you know expect 
you know, a lot of more people dying that's close to you, you know, your uncles, aunties, and children, whoever it may be. These we're going into the real hard times, man, that the Bible speaks of, and the only way you could be delivered is through the Lord, man. You see why it was important to be on your P's and Q's, to examine yourself, man. You know, to be sincere, as the apostles teach us brothers, us young brothers, man. Be sincere, man. Speak the truth. You know? Be honest with yourself, man. Because in order for you to be honest with others, you have to be honest with yourself. You know? It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So even though the Lord is going to, you know, bring forth Jacob's trouble, you know, Jake's still not going to get it. Okay? They're still going to wax worse. All right? It's going to get violent, man. You know, people going to go, people going to have a cold shoulder, man. All right? You seen the movies? They pre-programmed you. you. Watch these movies. They show you what these times will look like. You know, what type of mindset, you know, you should have. And that's the Lord also preparing you, you know? By, by allowing these devils to put these movies together to prepare your minds, man. All right? So it says, Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. It says, And the dead shall be cast out like cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down all right so now you know i'm a i had a scripture queued up when the apostle was teaching you know i was thinking of this scripture of matthews 24 all right and um i want to go into the parable of the fig tree let's see find it real quick bear with me all right, here we go. This is um, let's see, the parable of the fig tree. This is Yahweh Shai's word, okay? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the true name of the Messiah in the scriptures, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh Shai, man, which his name means He Deliverer, man. All right, He's the one who's mighty to save, and He's going to come and save His elect. You know. This is uh, Matthew 24, 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put of forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise uh, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. So you hear the warning from the apostle, all right? Because seeing that these things are near, the destruction, you know, the Lord is breaking down the economy, even though he's using these elites to, to make them believe in a lie. This, they, they're in a strong delusion. These elites believe that if they can control this demolition, they can they can usher in a new society for us and they could be as God. You know, they can make man merge with technology. You know, they can force you to, to submit to this NWO. You know, that they've been planning for many, many years now, man. You know, but see, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, he have Esau in the trick bag. All right? Because the Lord is going to do divine intervention, which is mean the Lord going to step in between. All right? He saveth the poor. He's not with these devils with the shit that they doing or what they planning. All right? But he is with, all right, his word, which was already prophesied from the very beginning. So everything is being played out like a movie. Okay, one thing leads to the other. Prophecy, man. Okay? This is going to bring forth, the Lord is using it to bring forth the destruction until he enter into this rim with the holy angels with Yahabusha. You know? So, real quick, uh, let me read that again. It says, Matthews 24 and 32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Now I just want to finish a little bit of what Apostle Rumlot was saying. All right, let's go back into the video. 
you know, it's gloom and doom because the Lord is, you know, he's shutting down the door. He's closing the doors on, on America, Babylon the Great. He's about to close a whole damn store on them, you know, pretty soon. So, you know, just get ready. Get your mind prepared. We've been speaking about this, so it shouldn't come as a surprise to you, brothers and few sisters out there. Mm. It says, uh, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. Yeah, and you know. Yeah, pre precept, uh, uh, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. But ye yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come up as a thief in the night. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it real quick. Well, as well, let me get it real quick. Because we know, man. We know, all right? Another scripture come in mind. Matter of fact, bear with me, bear with me. I wanna get this scripture real quick and then I get First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter real quickly. Uh, this scripture here comes to my mind. Um, uh, this is Second Edges 9 and verse four. I'll try to just get to the point. It says, then shall thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So everything has a beginning and everything has an end, okay? When you go into Daniel, Daniel had a heavy, a heavy vision you know you know a prophecy where he saw the dynasties from the assyrian babylonian empire you had the persians the greeks the romans and even america man and then you saw the beginning and he saw the end and right now we at the end of this devil's kingdom all right the greeks the uh the romans the americans all right these are all edomites man this is his kingdom. And the scriptures tell us in 2nd Edra 6 that Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. You see that? So it says, Then shalt thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. It says, For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the an end is manifest. And right now the end is manifesting. Okay? The Lord is fulfilling prophecy right before our eyes, man. He's swinging loaded chariots, the angels, to boost our faith, to know that he exists, to know that his word is true, you know? And it's going to be one hell of a great test on us, man, all right? Because if we're true men of the Lord, the Lord will help us, man, all right? The Lord is about to show his power in the earth, man, okay? He's about to be glorified once again like he did in Egypt. He was glorified through the earth, man. All right, by delivering the Israelites from the land of Egypt, from out of the bondage, man. So how much more this time, he's gonna be magnified from the borders of Israel. And Israel is a people before a place. Jerusalem is a people before a place. All right? So it says, um, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and ending in effects and signs. It says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. That's why it's important to, to put your hand to the plow and not look back, man. You know, we lost a lot. Brothers who've been in the truth, you lose. You seem like you, 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 you're losing all the time, man. Satan is always against you, man. <laughs> you know, that's what he set up for. But it's like you're always in some sort of trouble, you know. And that's why it's important to speak the truth because we already know we in trouble. We're headed into Jacob's trouble, but the Lord said he shall be saved out of it. So it's best to speak the truth, man. All right. So it says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So this is how we're able to escape this, man. All right. By the works. Okay. By our faith. And it says, Where, whereby ye have believed, because you believe. It says, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for, for me from the beginning. Then it says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. 
for such as in their life received benefits and have not known me, and they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. It says the same must know it after death by pain. All right, hard-headed two-thirds of Israel. All right, they're going to get this truth. They're going to receive this truth after their destruction, man. See, we receive the truth now. It's why we faint not. All right, we have received mercy from the Lord by, by believing, be, being able to believe in the Lord and trust the process. All right. Uh, I said I wanted to grab First Thessalonians real quick. Real quick. Because Apostle Aramla, uh, you know, he spoke, you know, spoke on this a little bit. But well, it made me think of this scripture here. Um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1, it says, But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So we know the Lord is coming like a thief, but not unto us. But unto those that are asleep, all right? For those that despise the word of the Lord, two-thirds of the Lord's people, you despise this word. You didn't consider, you didn't take heed. You ignored the prophets, the message from the Most High, you know, through Yahweh. You didn't take heed to the gospel, all right? The Lord said, when this gospel go across the face of the earth, then shall the end come. And we're approaching the end, the end of Esau and the beginning of our kingdom. All right, it says for, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief because we're seeing what's coming down the pipe. All right, that this economy can crash soon, man. All right, the way that the reports and the news are being reported, the real news, all right, so your supply chain been hit. We in inflation, you know, prices, gas, food, you know, in areas they don't went up, man. You know, so what's next? You can expect blackouts. You know, if you got a blackout, what you gonna do when you got no lights? You know, so it's now time to be prepared, man. You know, pray to Yahweh Bashimi. I was shy. You know, and I'm saying this for myself first. Praying to Yahweh Bashimi. I was shy for Him to guide our steps in righteousness, man. You know, guide us every step of the way. You know, uh, uh, helping us to use wisdom. His wisdom. You know, his wisdom, man, to get through this shit. It says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. It says, ye are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. All right, so we're not of the darkness, which is the confusion. Okay? No, we of the light. We can see. All right, we supposed to be vigilant, circumspect, you know, a watchman upon a tower, seeing what the Lord is going to say unto us so we that so we are reproved. We can give forth the warning. All right? Cuz if you have the light, you can see, but if you have the dark, you can't see. You're confused. It says, "Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that are they that be drunken are drunken in the night." But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. That's heavy. All right. So real quick, let's play a little bit more. You no, know, there's a, you know, talk of a serious major trucker st uh, strike, which is going to be devastating because it's already devastating as it is. But it's going to be really devastating. It says, and he, sh and, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, meaning in the morning, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All right. So pretty much the doors are shutting. You know, the economy is collapsing. This is what they want because of reset. You know, the build back beta, you know, is, uh, or, you know, build back better, is, you know, the whole system being reset all over again to usher in the new uh, form of currency, which will be digital. Hey, real quick, I gotta get this precept. As the apostle speaking, made me think of this scripture here, man. All right, Revelations 13 and 16, the MOTB. It says, 
and he calls of all, Revelations 13, 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and six, which goes into chai, phi, stigma. All right, and when you look the word stigma up, all right, it means, you know, uh, someone could have a stigma on them, they could be known for something, or the word stigma also means to prick, all right, T to basically stab, all right, and what stabs is that karax. The Greek word for karagma is karax, all right? And the karagma is the Greek word for the word mark, which is that 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 chippy chip chip, all right? And with things happening the way they is, and Esau's destroying his own economy, his solution is going to be, you know, take that MOTB, take the karagma, man. So expect that when this place is falling and people are starving and crying to the government, to the mind control for help, the solution gonna be MOTB, man. All right, because this is the, the prophecy, all right, which the Lord is gonna use to distinguish, uh, uh, well, let me say the Lord is gonna use, all right, so that uh, uh, you, will, you will know his very elect, man. All right, because the very elect, his true elect is not gonna take this mark. Yeah, I'll say that. I hope that makes sense, Lord willing. All right? This prophecy is being used by the Lord to, to really to show you his true, very elect. All right? He's going to be with his elect to not take this mark. Revelations 3 and 10. All right? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Uh, Revelations 15 and 1. You know, those that had gotten the victory over the mark, over the beast, and over his image... All right, the image is the system. So they're looking to implement their system by basically use, uh, uh, using this, uh, their tactic of uh, problem, reaction, solution, which is um, uh, order, uh, uh, order out of chaos, order out of chaos. You know, Esau always used this tactic. You know, he break you down. He cause a problem, the people react, and then he come with the solution. You know? So that made me think of that. So I'll play some more. Um, the uh, um, cryptocurrencies aren't doing too good. People are selling off, and um, people are selling off a lot. The American public is selling off all of their uh, a lot of their stocks that they're holding. And you know who's in the background, uh, you know, uh, rubbing their hands, the Rothschilds, because that's what they do. They create crises, make people get the panic, sell off their stocks. They buy them cheap. And then they, you know, then, then then they make money off of it, you know. So this whole shithole is going up, you know. So let's let's uh, sit back and watch and let the Lord do His thing. And Lord's will will be out of here soon, you know. They already got the MO to the TB out there pushed, you know, heavy. The infrastructure is set, you know. Everything is in place. The people already have been trained, you know. And um, and um, you know. Um, been made to to accept this new system you know so we just got to sit back and watch you know and let the lord do his thing so with that you know i pray that you brothers and few sisters have been edified yeah yep uh i finish it off and i end the lesson as well all right i think it's enough been said man uh i gotta take heed we gotta take heed all right you know we're taking heed but you know this is these last roll, roll calls man the lord last roll calls for these lessons you know telling what's gonna happen down they could cut the switch they can Man, it, man, the Lord can speed this thing up like this, man. You know, in the blink of an eye, man. You know, so let me read again. Matthew 24, 32. Now learn the parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. It says, so likewise ye, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. You know, so if you can tell when the seasons are going going out and coming in, you know, how much more are these prophecies? You're supposed to know these prophecies, man. It says, so likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, 
this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled, which is Bible prophecy. You know, everything has to take its place, has to reach its time to manifest. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, there's a time, season, and purpose under the heavens. Verse 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Verse 36, I'm not going to read all of this, but it definitely goes into a little more of these times. It says, but of the days, but of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So showing you, you know, that no man knows that set day and hour. All right. See, we, we understand prophecy. So when the Lord fulfill these prophecies and we're able to still speak and prophesy, you're able to get the warning. But do we know the set time and hour and exact day? No. So don't let no, no false prophet or some Christianity pastor tell you, you know, on this date, this is going to happen. No, man. Because he don't know. He's lying. The scriptures say, but of the day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage unto the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. It says, then shall two be in the field and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill and one shall be taken and the other left. Meaning the Lord has an election, okay? He has an election. One is gonna be taken and the other's gonna be left, all right? It says, watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do come. It says, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready for in such, a, in such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh. It says, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him a ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, so Lord willing, I pray this lesson be edifying. All right. I just seen uh, Apostle Rumlop's video and, uh, you know, it got me in the spirit to, to, to charm off of his his words. You know, do the Lord. How about me? I was shy and just add to it, man, with these scriptures. You know, so Lord willing, I pray you're edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Double homage to my apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.